Welcome guys, in this video I will explain in-game terms and also helps you better understand the moves and weapons available in crypto fights. We'll show you how to win every fight using the elf build. Your development of ability scores also determines which weapons and actions you'll have an advantage with during battle. Action, you can take 4 actions with you when you go into battle. The 3 main actions all fighters start out with are attack, hide, and focus. Each time you level up, you get to unlock an action based on your fighter's level. Some actions can only be used with certain weapons, while others require you to be under a specific status effect. For example, the action, sneak attack requires you to be hidden to use it. Attack, attack is one of the start actions. All fighters can use it. Many actions derive from the attack action, like the power attack or sneak attack. Attack roll, the fighter must perform an attack roll using d20, 20-sided die, to determine if they can hit the opponent. If the result of the dice is high enough, they can inflict damage. If the result of the d20 attack roll is 20, the fighter performs a critical hit. Aurora the Fierce, each time you unlock a new battleground, she's there to tell you more about it. Which be a hit. Elves receive plus 10 initiative and plus 1 evasion. Evasion, evasion is the likelihood of evading an attack. Fire, this damage type is a magical elemental type. Fire does more damage than other elemental types.
Base damage type, slashing, piercing, and bludgeoning are the three main base damage types, also known as mundane damage types. Short swords, great swords, and battle axes inflict slashing damage. Bows, daggers, and pistols inflict piercing damage, mauls, maces, quarterstaffs, and a fighter's bare fists inflict bludgeoning damage. Battle axe, battle axes have a base damage type of bludgeoning and can be common. Uncommon, rare, legendary, or epic. A battle axe's attack property is brutal assault and its variant property is heavy. Bludgeoning, bludgeoning is one of 10 different damage types in crypto fights. Uncommon, rare, legendary, or epic. A battle axe's attack property is brutal assault and its variant property is heavy. Bludgeoning, Bludgeoning is one of, if you use bludgeoning weapons, this means you're using weapons such as mauls and quarterstaffs. Bludgeoning attacks are effective when delivered by strong fighters. Bow. 10 different damage types in crypto fights. Is Bram the Brave. He'll walk you through basic gameplay strategy and mechanics which will help you understand how to succeed and achieve victory on the battlefield. Caravan, the caravan is where you can customize your fighter before a match. Switch between fighters and check each of your fighters detailed stats. You can do things like swap out weapons and actions and create new fighters. Cash prizes, every battle your fight gives you the chance to win real cash prizes.
Cold, while this magical elemental damage type doesn't do as much damage as fire, it reduces your opponent's ability to escape future attacks. Slowing down your opponents also helps you make up a bit for any speed you might be lacking. Critical bonus rolls, if a fighter scores a critical hit on their attack roll, the outcome of two extra dice and a coin roll are added to the damage roll. D20, D6, D8, Dice Notation, a d20 is a 20-sided dice. 2d6 are two six-sided dice. Dagger, a small bladed weapon especially effective in the hands of a fighter with high dexterity. Its lightweight design makes it easy for quick, deadly attacks. Damage types, there are 10 damage types. Warfare, slashing, bludgeoning, fire, piercing, lightning, poison, cold, mystic, necrotic. Weapons and skills have different damage types. Armors and skills provide resistance for specific damage types. Some fighter builds are more likely to rely on certain damage types. Damage roll, if the result of the attack roll is not a miss, then a damage roll is performed. Different weapons, skills and even fighter traits can affect the Amount and type of dice being used in the damage roll. Dexterity, the measurement of agility, balance, and reflexes are within the scope of dexterity. These abilities determine initiative, evasion, critical change. Dwarves, dwarves naturally have higher levels of strength. 
Dwarves are tough to beat due to their muscle, physical power, and health. Strength allows them to wield brutal and assault weapons like mauls and greatswords. Dwarves receive plus two to all resistances. Dual wielding, a fighter dual wields when using one weapon on each hand. Dual wielding means two distinct attacks are processed per attack action. First, the main hand is processed, followed by the off hand. Unless stated otherwise when you use a weapon on the off hand, it does not receive attack and damage modifiers bonuses.
Elves, elves tend to have greater agility, reflexes, and balance due to their naturally higher levels of dexterity. Evasion, initiative, and critical change needed for dexterous and precision weapons like bows and crossbows. Great sword, strength is required to use this powerful weapon. The base damage type of a great sword is slashing. Its attack property is brutal assault and its variant property is heavy. Health, health, health points or HP. 
Fighters start with HP equal to their strength ability score and they then gain health on level up. When they level up, they get their strength ability bonus worth of health points added to their HP. Humans, one of the three fighter races available in crypto fights, humans are adaptable and tend to have higher levels of intelligence. Humans aren't as naturally powerful as dwarves and don't quite have the same natural stealth and agility of elves. Humans receive plus one to all ability scores. Intelligence, this ability score affects how well your character learns and reasons. Your character's learning and reasoning ability help it learn how to better attack, counterattack, or defend against an opponent's move. Spellcasting is a move that requires a decent intelligence score. Lightning, this damage type is also another magical elemental type like fire and cold. You may not have as much control with lightning damage but there is a remote possibility to critically damage your target. Loot drop, at the end of a battle, the winner gets items along with a cash prize. The value of the loot drop is greater on higher battleground tiers. All items are tokenized, including poor items. Mace, a mace has a base damage type that is bludgeoning. Its attack property is brutal assault. It's a powerful weapon in the hands.
Blockchain Gaming, also known as GameFi, soared in 2021. This was partly due to a rise in play-to-earn gaming, and partly because the technology has evolved to power better games. Some existing and new potential investors that it plans to launch play-to-earn and NFT-based games later this year, the sources said, requesting anonymity, as the deliberations are ongoing and they are not authorized to speak to the press. In the Decentraland crypto gaming project, people can buy plots to farm, construct structures, play games, implement digital tourism or create art. The players even have the utmost freedom to choose dedicated sections of the platform, called district. The terms of the investment could change, the sources cautioned, buy and sell crypto on an expert picked exchange there are hundreds of platforms around the world that are waiting to give you access to thousands of cryptocurrencies. Crafton's latest collaboration with Solana Labs comes as many of its competitors jostle for a slice of the lucrative blockchain gaming market. Netmarble, the online gaming company founded by billionaire Bang Joon-hyuk. There are no guaranteed values of either the token or the in-game asset as their value is often determined by supply and demand in the market. This means there can be significant volatility in the price. Right now, Town Star, a play-to-earn game where people compete to build the best town, is the only one that's ready to play. The seven games in development include a survival shooter game called Last Expedition. We found one company that's positioned itself perfectly as a long-term picks and shovels solution for the broader crypto market, Bitcoin, Dogecoin, and all the others. In fact, you've probably used this company's technology in the past few days. Since you will need in-game currencies to perform any or all of the above actions in the gaming metaverses, cryptocurrencies can be attributed as the fuel that facilitates these gaming metaverses' design, development, and operations. Crafton, which raised $3.8 billion in Korea's second-largest initial public offering in August, has been increasing its bets on crypto and blockchain technologies. The firm said it would team up with Naver Z, the subsidiary of billionaire Lee Hae-jin. NFTs are the building blocks of blockchain gaming. Think of them as a form of digital ownership whether it is for a piece of land, an outfit for your avatar, or an in-game item like a sword. The online gambling industry is worth an estimated $53.7 billion every year. From virtual cards and online sports betting to video slots, there are thousands of ways to wager cash through digital casinos. And now some are offering crypto gaming. Our top crypto play isn't a token, here's why we found one company that's positioned itself perfectly as a long-term picks and shovel solution for the broader crypto market, Bitcoin, Dogecoin, and all the others. These games are fun and you can trade your items, in-game characters with other players. Many of these are free NFT games that you can play to earn rewards and the Crydo Gaming Bulls channel on Telegram discusses the latest free-to-play NFT games. Use a cryptocurrency exchange to buy Ethereum. To interact with Ethereum-based projects, you'll need ETH, similarly, for Solana-based projects, you'll need SOL, which you can purchase using fiat currency at any centralized exchange, CX. The player count of NFT Metaverse Alien Worlds was as high as that of blockchain games Splinterlands and Galaxy Blocks combined. This shows when comparing the unique wallets that showed any kind of interaction with a smart contract from these games. As the non-fungible token NFT, space as a whole has developed over the past few years, gaming has been a natural intersection between established technologies and NFTs. As Benzinga explains, NFTs are digital tokens based on the blockchain. They can be used to authenticate any digital asset, making it possible to prove ownership over digital assets, like digital art, avatars, or in-game weapons, for the first time. Gemini is a cryptocurrency exchange and custodian that offers investors access to over 100 coins and tokens. Founded in the US, Gemini is expanding globally, in particular into Europe and Asia. Offerings include both major cryptocurrency projects. To compare different gaming NFT projects, considering the chain that the project chooses to run on is very crucial. Different chains entail various transaction fees, with Ethereum's gas fees being especially high right now. Because of this, projects. 
However, it will be a matter of time before law enforcement agencies at every municipal level become familiar enough with new tools to investigate smaller-scale blockchain scams effectively. There's currently still a possibility that crypto tokens. IMA Financial has its work cut out. For one, NFTs are a complex product to value because they are, like fine art, worth only what the market says they are, and for insurance purposes, that is heavily influenced by the historical value over time. Currently, you are using a shared account. To use individual functions, example, mark statistics as favorites, set statistic alerts, please log in with your personal account. If you are an admin, please authenticate by logging in again. Axes can be bred, increasing their market value, using AXS and SLP tokens, both of which can also be bought through most crypto exchanges. The caveat here is that the value of each of these things is contingent on the individual market for them. Like it or not, crypto investors are opening themselves up to this new and evolving risk of fraud and scams. If you've incorporated crypto into your investment portfolio or are interested in investing in Bitcoin or Ethereum in the future. Voyager is a leading name in the sphere of cryptocurrency investing, giving you access to over 50 tokens and coins. Buy, sell and swap assets using Voyager Crypto's simple mobile platform available as a free download for iOS and Android users.
When you invest through Voyager, you'll pay nothing in commissions, which is a major benefit when compared to other cryptocurrency brokers. Voyager is also one of the only brokers that allows users to earn interest on their crypto investment. Types of cryptocurrency insurance policies for businesses and corporations Whether you have a small business or large corporation, DeFi for cryptocurrency is also known as smart contract insurance because it covers smart contract failure. When it comes to cryptocurrency, smart contracts are essentially programs stored on a blockchain that run when specific conditions are met. Usually, Smart contracts automate the execution of agreements, so that transactions are made immediately. Cryptocurrency companies have found ways to protect their digital assets from theft and, by working closely with Lloyd's underwriters, to ensure losses that do slip through the net that we reached out to national insurers such as Allstate and State Farm. DeFi for cryptocurrency is also known as smart contract insurance because it covers smart contract failure. When it comes to cryptocurrency, Right now, cryptocurrencies are a major risk for insurers, mostly because of their unregulated status. A more developed regulatory framework should also help make traditional insurers more willing to provide insurance capacity in this space. At this time, however, more education is still needed. And as the regulatory environment continues to evolve, Cryptocurrency strategy and education Cryptocurrency insurance could be a big industry in the future by Rakesh Sharma Full bio LinkedIn Rakesh Sharma is a writer with 8 plus years of experience about the intersection between technology and business. From a risk perspective, traditional insurance coverages that insure against technology failures and directors and officers liability, DNO, is always valuable for businesses interested in protecting both their balance sheet and the individuals. The global digital asset market continues to grow at a fast clip, a trend that is likely to continue for years to come. With more organizations and governments exploring the opportunities presented by digital assets and increased regulatory clarity. About Lloyd's Welcome to Lloyd's, the world's insurance marketplace. Bringing together experts who share intelligence, judgment, capital and risk to create a braver world. Experience about the intersection between technology and business. Digital assets are not a new phenomenon, having been around for several years. Yet many established companies, including large financial institutions and government entities, have historically seemed reluctant to adopt digital assets. This compensation may impact how and where products appear on this site, including, for example, the order in which they appear. These offers do not represent all available deposit, investment, loan, or credit products. When it comes to crypto specifically, Robinhood recently announced it's creating its own digital wallet for its crypto users. Previously on Robinhood, you couldn't move your private key, the encrypted code that grants access to your cryptocurrency. Crypto used as collateral, you lose the ability to trade it or use it to make transactions. Also, if the value of your digital assets drop significantly, you may end up owing back much more than you borrowed should you default on the loan. I like the idea of earning upside from your rewards, and to some people, crypto credit card rewards are akin to gambling with house money. Just be prepared for a wild ride since crypto prices are notoriously volatile. BlockFi rewards Visa registered signature card for a lot of reasons. First, it offers more than 10 cryptocurrency reward options beyond Bitcoin. It's also the only one that allows you to move your crypto into your own wallet. In a digital world, information only matters if it's timely, relevant, and credible. We promise to do whatever is necessary to get you the information you need when you need it, to make our opinions fair and useful. The Venmo credit card is a cashback rewards card, but you can choose to redeem rewards in crypto, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin or Bitcoin Cash at the end of each month. Unlike some other credit cards, there are no transaction fees for converting. As more consumers look to enter the crypto ecosystem, the Gemini credit card gives them an easy point of entry and an effortless way to earn crypto as a reward without changing their daily spending habits, said Tyler Winklevoss, CEO of Gemini. Repayment needs to be made in the same currency as the one you received as credit, i.e. you choose to receive the loan in TUSD, your repayment will be made in TUSD. 
cryptocurrencies are widely considered high-risk and volatile assets. Other crypto debit cards include the Coinbase card, the BitPay prepaid MasterCard and the CoinZoom Visa. In some cases, you can load the account with cryptocurrency converted into US dollars, and in others, you can convert crypto into fiat money. Either way, this concept doesn't appeal to me as much as earning crypto rewards. The valuation can be murky, and you're incurring capital gains taxes because you can use these credit cards to earn crypto rewards without incurring the trading costs. They could be an optimal, low stakes on ramp to experimenting with cryptocurrency. That said, rewards on crypto credit cards are considerably more volatile than points, miles, and US dollars. What's more, regulations and tax laws continue to evolve. Remember this is not financial advice is only for educational purposes only. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe and leave a comment below.